today I'm going to show you how to set up and use our ultimate meal planner within Notion. This template is both a meal planner, recipe book, grocery list and pantry and they are all integrated so please bear with me while I go through how to set it all up before we get to actually making our meal plan. Now if you're just looking for a recipe book and meal planner we have a free version of this template which you can find in the description. Now to start off if you scroll down, you'll find these two databases, the pantry and the grocery list. These two are your most important databases in this template. The pantry is where you'll have all your items and ingredients listed. Basically all the things you have in your kitchen, but also the things that you don't have but will need. Over to the right is your grocery list. The grocery list includes a checkbox to mark it off once you've grabbed the item. When you check it off, the items will go to the bottom. Now this next part is very important. The way you add an item to your grocery list is to use the checkbox here in the pantry database. This will add it to your grocery list where you can mark it off once you've grabbed the item. Once you're ready to remove it again, you can either uncheck it from the pantry database or the grocery list has a edit list which you can see here where you can also add and remove items from the grocery list. Now your pantry is likely much bigger than this, so if you want to easily find something when your list is a bit too long, there is a search button up here which you can use to find any item that you need. Now if we head up to the top again, on the left we have a smaller version of the grocery list. There is also a edit list here as well. This, this shows up as the first thing when you go into the template, so if you're out and about and open Notion on your phone, this will be the first thing that shows up. Up here as well is a very small manual list if there's anything you need to manually quickly write down. Just to the right of that is your recipe book and below is your meal plan for the week or the month. And just to the right of that again is your meal plan for today. I will go over very soon how to set up and use these. Now that we've gone through the layout, let me show you how to actually set it up. Down at the pantry, you simply click this button to create a new item, then at the top add the item. Add a category for quick sorting, and then you can enter the amount on hand. Now if you don't have any, then you can put either zero or leave it blank, and both of them will work. From here you can also directly add it to the grocery list if you need. In the beginning you might need to add a couple items, but over time you'll add the things you need and it should be very simple. The amount on hand that you have as well will unfortunately need to be manually updated of course, but it's up to you how often you do that. If you run out of an item in your pantry, you can set the value to zero or leave it blank, both will work. But if you want to get rid of an item from your pantry completely, of course you can do that. Let me give you a quick example. So let's say you want to get rid of this almond butter. Maybe you bought it for a recipe and you found out you're allergic. So in the pantry database you can simply select it from the checkbox that appears on the side and you can hit the delete button. Now the other thing you need to do as well is over on the grocery list you should find a page within the empty pages. Simply click on the checkbox for that one too and delete that. It's a good idea every now and again to head into the empty pages and delete anything that's in there. Now back on your grocery list, we'll mention again that we strongly recommend that you do not delete anything from your grocery list using the delete function. Instead, if you have it on your grocery list and you want to get rid of it, let's say you have finished your grocery shopping, you can go here and uncheck all the purchased. And then on your edit list, you can shift click to select everything you need. And then you can untick the add to grocery list. This will untick it here. And if we head back to the checklist, they are no longer there. If you did happen to delete an item from the grocery list, there is a video in the description on how to fix that issue. 
going back up to the recipe book, let me show you how it works. At the top, we have the different views. Feel free to choose whatever you like or customize it to whatever your preference is. To add a new recipe, click the button at the top here and then fill out all the properties. I'll quickly do a fried chicken in my case. From here, I'm gonna select it as a favorite. Add any relevant tags, so I'll add protein, recipe. And then I'll put it as a dinner. Here, you can add a link to a recipe or a YouTube video of the recipe if you have one. Now, you'll see that there are three different categories down here. We have the directions, which you have to manually write in, but then the ingredients and grocery list are linked to other ones. So for here, to add the ingredients we need, we want to click and press enter. Then from here, we can click on pantry and select what we need. So I'll quickly add the ingredients. With that, we now have our ingredients filled out. And if we untoggle the grocery list here, the grocery list will now show how much we currently have of the ingredients we need for this recipe. Now we can see here that we don't have enough eggs. So from here, we can click this button here and we can directly add it to the grocery list. If we look now on the grocery list, we have eggs here and we saw for the recipe that we need two. So we'll add that there. Now I'll quickly write up some very probably bad directions and then we can move on to the next step. And with this the whole recipe is now done. We have what we need, directions, and if we how much we have, and we can add it to the grocery list. And last but not least, we have our, the actual meal plan. So to do that, we simply want to click Add New Meal Plan. We want to select the date we want. We already have today, so we'll prepare for next week. Select the date, and now the simplest part, in my opinion. We just need to click on each meal and we already have what meals we want here. So simply just click and see what meal you want. We will add our fried chicken for the end there. And with that, it is all complete. Of course, the template will be linked in the description. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Have a good day. Peace.